どうしようもなくなガキ Yo, what's good guys, Zodak here, back with another video, and today we are reacting to Death Battle. Now, if you watched my previous video on Death Battle, it, it didn't end the way I wanted it to, to be honest. And to this day, I still get comments here now and then talking about how I'm stupid for assuming that Obi, that Kakashi could be Obi-Wan Kenobi. I, I, I'm gonna let it go. Today we have Omni Man versus Barba. Now this is a lot harder in my opinion, and I honestly don't know who I'm rooting for. I think the anime head in me and who I am wants to say Bardock for me, but I've seen Omni Man in action. This man is a menace to society, literally. But I feel like everything I've seen him do, I've seen a Saiyan do. So it's like. Like Saiyans literally, like Saiyans and 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 um, Viltrumites are almost one and the same. But supposedly, uh, so Omni Man comparisons are like they compared him to like uh, Viltrumites to uh, I don't know what the fuck Superman Superman is, Kryptonians. So, and I'm pretty sure everybody's saying Kryptonians can be Saiyans. And I've seen, I think I've seen Omni Man fly by a sun. And I've seen people die in Dragon Ball Z from the sun. So, I'm going to go on a hunch and say that, that Omni Man is going to win this one. If I'm wrong, hey, fuck it. I've been wrong before, as you can tell. But, let's just jump into this video. Damn, they just pulled up. I'ma say this. I'ma say this. I'ma skip through all the defeats and shit just because I watch both. I know what their peaks are. They don't gotta explain to me. They get into this megatons and quatillion tons and shit, and I'm just like, no disrespect to what they do because hey, they gotta do that right to make this shit make sense. But again, I've I, I know everything that goes into it. So, let's jump right into it. Alright. I'm going to say Omni-Man. I'm going to say Omni-Man. Do I want Omni-Man to win? I, I don't fucking know. I'm going to be honest. I would like Bardock to win. So, I, I don't lose here. Right? That's how that works. Great. Another gross bug Damn, this shit looks good, though. Straight out the gate. This planet isn't anyone's to come. Don't underestimate me. And remember, Bardock was the closest thing to a Super Saiyan at the time back then, before Super Saiyans became a thing. He was where Frieza feared most. Damn it. I don't, maybe. Not Raditz. But I've seen Omni Man run through a planet. Damn, he threw the ship at him. And he caught it. This is the type of fight we're having right now. Fuck. Oh, we're gonna do the grade eight. Wait you see the real power of a Saiyan. Huh. I didn't expect us to use grade eight form. But I guess we're using everything. Upgrade thousands of games with one install. You can get super damage. I feel like you can get speed blitz easier though.
Is Omni Man gonna cut off his tail? Or he's gonna die in eight form. Oh, I said he was gonna get speed blitzed. I'm sorry. No. Damn it. So I had it. Oh, he ripped it off. <laughs> Damn. You getting your ass whooped by your own tail? That's the sun. Super Saiyan? Wow! Did not see that coming. I guess because I didn't read the feats. Well, we about to get into it. If he got Super Saiyan, this might be it. No? Fuck! Really? Ah. You said saying remember it. Oh wow. Just brute strength on. So, how do you get the difference in speed but still lose? Because I felt, you know what? Let's see. Okay. Your plot point in Invincible involves the coalition of planets admitting that their weapons cannot hurt Viltrumites. So, when their ship's cannon obliterated this gigantic solar disk, it highlighted just how tough the Viltrumites really are. This disk completely blocked the sunlight and heat between a planet and its star. And this is no ordinary planet. Its size and density are so high that its inhabitants are as strong as Viltrumites just due to living in its natural gravity. Oh, wow. If block the light to such a planet and remain in consistent orbit, the disk would need to be positioned at its L1 point. The spot that creates an uninterrupted view. I don't know what they're talking about, but all right. I guess right, though. The star in question. This means the scaling of the disk puts it at three septillion tons. That's 24 zeros. Which makes Omni-Man over 11,000 times stronger than base Bardock. Not even the great ape or Super Saiyan forms could make up that difference. So strength goes to Nolan. Still, numbers aren't everything. As far as really? utility and combat goes, neither had one distinct advantage that could win outright. Omni Man survives in space for much longer, but Bardock barely squeaks out the edge here thanks to his ranged versatility with key attacks and, of course, Super Saiyan. Okay, let's address the Super Saiyan Bardock thing. Yeah. It's perfectly fair to question whether or not the form should be in this comparison at all. However, even with the form included, Nolan still takes this, especially when it comes to our last two categories, experience and stamina. Yep, Omni Man's been around a lot longer than he has. Two thousand years, and even with Super Saiyan, Bardock's no master of the form. And without that mastery, the form drains the user's energies at an increased rate. Which brings us to what may be Omni Man's most surprising stamina. Those weird smart atoms. Saiyans like Bardock can fight for days on end, but only for so long. 
Bardock possesses a limited pool of ki, which only depletes faster when using superforms like the Great Ape. In contrast, Omni-Man's biology prevents him from tiring in most cases, letting him travel across whole galaxies for weeks non-stop. And his smart atoms adjust to counter whatever physical strain he's subjected to. Bardock's crazy speed and power made him a real challenge. But Nolan's strength, experience, and sheer endurance presented an unstoppable and unshakable force okay. that would inevitably land the killing blow. When I, I, I was here to listen to the explanation. Okay. I'm okay with that. Again, I was expecting that because, again, they compare Viltrumites to uh, Kryptonians. So I was like, by comparison, they... Like, Saiyans don't get shit, bro. Bro. I don't know. They haven't won a fight in so long. Goku been losing to fucking Superman for years now. I'm tired of seeing that shit. But that's it for this video, guys. One day, one day we'll get us a dub. Anime niggas on top. See y'all around.